So I want to show my dad some moves. I know. I don't know, Daddy. Are you really ready? See, 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 see. Because my son family thinks he's a professional dancer. You think he can dance better than me? I, I know, sir. Yeah, I don't want to teach you, Daddy. I don't you want to teach me. Are you sure you can do it? Are you sure your waist better? Very, very sound. Like this. Are you sure? Yeah, let's go. Okay, let's move. All right. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Let's show, go. show them, show them. Okay. Uh huh. Normal. Yes, hundred percent. Yes, I'm just like that. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Like this. Like this. No for that. No, no, no. That's the way it's done now. now. That's how it's done. Uh, no, it's, it's not falling. That's, That's the way it's done. I'm teaching you. No, no, no. Don't hold me again. Call me. You know I'm beating. That's how it's holding me. You're scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scared. Scared. This one. This one. Wait. Wait, wait, to, wait, to. <laughs> no, wait, I mean, no. you, you stay. I mean, you stay. Just four seconds. I will, I will stay five minutes. Uh -huh. I won't do like that. I won't do like that. I go. 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 I didn't know I was going to see. So I didn't even know what it was. Thank you. I still cannot get my mind out of the video of Femi and his dad. Or more, it's a sweet feeling if you are friends with your your parents. It's actually, you know, have the friend kind of feelings when you're so close with your parents. Hey, babies, and how are you all doing? Welcome back to Sail with Mimi Shostly, Mimi, where you get the gist. Acid Hearts. This is Chinwe delivering it acid Hearts with a speech and words as her first hosting gig. She carried it out successfully without my saying words, like baby girl did her thingy with pride. Okay, this is coming from Aisha de la Cruz. Oh, Toke invited her man and his first wife too. Where is this coming from, guys? Sit back, relax. There is drama. Hey, <laughs> watch to the very end, though, so you don't miss out on any gist at all. While you do that, do not forget to subscribe and make sure your notification bell is steadily on. So, guys, Wani, my baby, Handy, my baby, and then Sean, you know, they went for talking my keyword thanksgiving yet it's thanksgiving talking my keyword did her thanksgiving yesterday been sunday and then this ones were there sean and his baby and then handy actually went with them now this particular thanksgiving ceremony has been staring a whole lot of brows let's start it with talking man Kewa. okay Toke posted and says happy tm that is talking man Kewa thanksgiving day so the Thanksgiving turned out to something that looks like a wedding proposal. People started tagging it that Toke has been proposed by her bestie, Farouk. They said, oh, the guy has proposed to Toke. It was trending on the social space. People started bringing gist about the guy that is not a good, that is not a good one. Okay. And how he's escapated with other people, escapades, I mean, with other people that has happened, you know some celebrities actors anyways so now that aside because that one is not even our business the one that is surprising me the most is okay Toke is trending for getting married and then some people started coming for her because of sean yo guys una no get shame at all though. okay let me get this first Babi Beji come and fight. They don't marry your wife. This person is referring to Sean. You guys know how much um Toke fantasized about Sean and everything. She said she actually pulled that on for Wani to see her reaction. But baby girl did not react one bit. Shoke, you were bigger than the sky and the world could imagine till we meet again. They started saying goodbye to Sean and Toke's ship. This person says, Batong, Nigeria. You flirt on social media and wake up the following day getting married. Where was the man when she was flirting? Wow, Toke flirting with Sean. It was real. It was not a joke at all. Well, I guess. Congratulations. Now, you see what I'm telling you? You know, when I speak, I show you guys. So, people are saying that Toke is not supposed to get married because of what she did with Sean. Now, my question is, what did Toke do with Sean? This episode from Comrade was still the same thing. Okay, let me see if I can just read the line about Sean. Okay, between and Escata, I don't think. Okay, how will I start to get the part of Sean? But any which ways, I want to skip it. 
Okay, here, yeah. F was just seen B not quite long. T was literally flirting with Sean in the house. Like, how, guys? Why are you guys trending all of this nonsense? Aisha says, forget the bros nonsense. If you follow her podcast, you will know that woman knows her Bible, loves her Jesus and manifests a lot. So people shock about her godly thanksgiving, they amuse me. Don't care be bad the way love Jesus back to her life. And the thing is, yeah, do you know all of this drag coming for Toke? Oh, Toke, after he finished flirting with Sean, now she don't go marry, you know. At last, last, that was not marriage, guys. It was one person who was at the Thanksgiving that claimed there was this display with herself and her bestie. And then that person posted and said, oh, Toke has gotten married. Guys, there was no marriage. And then Sean, some people are coming. Oh, after what you did with Sean, after what you, ah, uh, ah. Uh, the same Sean she invited, she invited both Sean, Wani, ex Handy. You know, the same Wani people have been coming for Toke for dragging Toke. That Toke is always dragging Wani, ex Handy. She invited them. Yes, amongst other of the faith, she invited them. That is for you guys to see that it's not necessarily how you guys say it sometimes. Honestly speaking, being a celebrity is not for the faint hearted because yo, if you see all that was revealed just because of the said Toke has been engaged to her birthday, they started revealing everything about that guy, how she he was an ex to Sharon Oja, how this one, how that one. And then the one that even got me the most that made me brought this here was the part of Toke and Sean. No guys, can you be sincere with me? Do you think that thing Toke did with Sean was serious or you think um whatever she did with Sean if she had a man outside she would not do it I would love to hear from you guys maybe I'm the one that is really not seeing it because I don't see anything I don't see anything in that she just she even said it that she just put in the drama there to see how Wani would react but baby guest did not make a move like she was even smiling over everything though during her boost uh she would be talking about sean fantasizing oh he's my crush and everything but you guys really think she meant all of that that's what i want to know because with the trend and the way they were coming for toke yesterday or more it was so surprising to see my mouth was open i'm like hey bb fans what is going on Meanwhile, moving on, there is still a lot to discuss before we call it a quit, okay? So, um, then they've been dragging Wani X Handy in for their outfits. Yes, I said, Wani and Handy did not dress well to that Thanksgiving. How do you go for a Thanksgiving with all your B out like that? Now, wow, for B like Thanksgiving, don't change meaning. So, people said their outfits is not giving at all because that in is Thanksgiving, it has to be something that is holy, like they would have at least covered up. Now, my question is, you guys saw the outfit they wore. The video of them you saw on this video was the exact outfits they wore to the Thanksgiving ceremony. So, you all tell me what you think about the outfits. Do you think they need to cover up a bit? Let me know in the comment section because they are dragging them like I passed my neighbor generator. Meanwhile, in the midst of all of this thinking, they are coming for handy advice handy to give her sister space this is no longer big brother house let sean enjoy her sister being in peace so people felt like handy is not giving sean and wani breathing space you know and then saying that at least they should um handy should give sean and wani that time to do their thingy allow the sister have fun with her man guys you think meanwhile you guys should not forget do you know that this house will show us what we want to see they show us what we want to see, you know. Wani might go out to go see Sean and she will not post it. And then maybe Handy might not tag along. So maybe when they tag along and then she share, it will be like, oh, she's always in their business. And I think she would always give them time, if not tell me. So if they're having their private time together, making all of those sweet touches, Handy will be there. I don't think she will be there. So you guys should just leave the siblings do their thinking, okay. Sean is somebody that is outspoken. If he do not find it funny, he's going to speak to Wani to, you know, make an amend. So, Sean is okay. He's somebody that is brutally honest when he wants to speak. So, allow them to do them. Do not bring that narrative to their head or bring things to their faces. Allow happy people be happy people, okay? Thank you. All right, moving on. Wani, Handy, Victoria, and Cassia has been trending. Let me read this for you guys. You see these four girls, the way brand will rush them, eh? Handy, Domino, and Showmax, Bakebo Wani. So people said Wani 
that is the Tweeny and then Castoria, that Brand would rush them back to back. Okay, and then Victory says, when are these housemates going to market their talent? They are so they are so content in being gifted in such a way that even if they do not get endorsement deals, they don't care. Now, my question is, how do you know they don't care? How do you know that even if they don't get endorsement deal, they do not care? When did they leave the house to start with? See, yes, I know they need endorsement and all of that. And also, do not forget, they need to build their own brand in particular. So instead of focusing on endorsement deal, why not say, I hope they are working on their brand? Because you guys are making it look like endorsement is the big deal. While the big deal here is working on your own brand. Are they going to force people to endorse them? Do you think those people do not see that the housemate is out of the house to endorse them? So if their fans gift them, they should not rejoice and be happy in it. They should be frowning because they need endorsement. You guys should calm down on this housemates. Be cool. Edjo, please. Oh, I wish I can say please in all languages. I would have said it here. Let this housemate breathe. They are human beings. They need to calm down, brainstorm, and know what they want for themselves. On this juncture, guys, I'm going to be dropping my voice to see you guys later. Thank you so, so much for always sailing with me. Mwah.